Hey, good morning, y'all. Welcome back to Chasing Dreams Homestead. Before we can get started today, I've got to get some supplies. I did not have yesterday, but I didn't want to hold up on getting the project started. So first and foremost, we're going to grab a dust mask. All right, y'all. Got our dust mask. Got some safety glasses and some insulating foam. We got one more thing that's very important that we got to get, and then we're going to get this party started. Are you guys ready? I'm ready, y'all. We got them biscuits swimming in gravy. We'll take them home, slap some hot sauce on them, and chow down. And to work, I go. The dogs are outside figuring out who's boss. Hey, so I've got Louisa to help for a little bit today, so she's going to help with the demo. We've still got to clean up all that top area there, this bottom area, and part of that wall out before we start putting up our LVL. But we've got two LVL beams that we're going to install, and this will be right as rain, and then probably... Part three will be making all this room pretty. Genesis has wanted to do that for a while, but unfortunately she won't be here most of the weekend. Yeah, I'm gone. I got plans. Teenagers. Anyhow, so we're going to put you all on time lapse. We're going to start demoing some more and getting this part of the project knocked out. All right, y'all, so our house, according to the deed, was like 1941. But what did you just say, Genesis? Like, no way, bro. Back in the 40s, I must have put these in our vlog. No, not at all. <laughs> That's from the kids dropping it down in there. But I just wanted to show you guys this. It's pretty cool. I mean, it's clearly all rusted out. But they used chicken wire to hold that concrete there while they made their concrete braces or smoothed out the top of the concrete. It's pretty neat. I'm gonna show you this in here too. So this is a legit sawmill board, y'all. That's right. That's a true two by four. Oh yeah. And then they just anchored these little supports throughout to hold a concrete block, I guess. It wasn't really a block though. Yeah. It's like a yep. But what they had there was these things. And these fit in there to hold the blocks up. So those blocks weren't really supporting much weight at all. Not with the way they designed this. Believe it or not, it looks like that two by four is really supporting most of everything. Which is insanity to me. And I'm hoping, yes, good. So the two by four runs the whole length of the house, which is great because I'm taking down about the right there of this wall. And once I take that down, I'm relieved to know that that's up there. And then we'll put our LVL under that. Y'all, I lost count of how many wheelbarrows of debris we took out of this house doing this demo but i tell you what good gravy it was a lot of work getting all that demo debris out so right here i'm making a guideline because i'm about to use the saw with a concrete blade as you can see that thing kicks up a ton of dust and makes it very hard to see your line All right, y'all, so I'm gonna show you what we did. It's extremely hard to see with fogged up safety glasses and the dust. I can't see none of the dust with me. But we scored us a line with the saw. It's not the straightest line, but it'd be cleaner than a bunch of ragged edges and I can case that out with wood. We did the same thing on the inside. So I could dress all that up and you won't know about it. I stopped right there because we got that outlet. So I'm going to break away from the outlet and expose the wire before I keep going down, just in case the wire might run that way. I doubt it, but better safe than sorry. So we're going to expose that. I'm going to let Genesis see what it's like to use that big baby and try to bust some of this wall. See what she thinks about it. 
I'm gonna tell you right now, girl, it's like getting in a fight. <laughs> How was it, G? Um, my hand hurt. Your hand hurts? Yeah. What about, you're breathing kind of hard too. Well, it's hard to breathe. It gets like hot in this mask. It does, yeah. Yeah. But was that also physically exhausting? A little bit. Could you imagine doing the whole wall? No, you got that. <laughs> All right, you get back on clean up and I'll get back on busting. So y'all didn't get to hear it because it was on time lapse, but she was like, way to make me look like I was weak, dad. I knocked that out pretty quick. <laughs> I had to give a little flex for the camera. But no joke, y'all. It really is a lot harder than it looks knocking out that block. It's been a dirty and hard job, y'all. But it's been a lot of fun working with Genesis. No complaints. Just steady. Working away. Chipping at it. Doing anything I asked her to do. I couldn't be more proud. It felt so good to finally get all of the pieces knocked down that we needed to have knocked down and out of the way. Knowing that we weren't going to swing that hammer much more was amazing. Hey y'all, so check that out. Scoring with the skill saw really kept a pretty clean edge there. Pretty daggum excited about that. We gotta get all this debris out of the way. We gotta go through and remove this stuff. Get this whole surface cleaned up and ready. And then we can put a base plate board down. We'll be able to run our uprights. And then we'll get our LVO beams in. Hang in there, y'all. We having fun. Genesis wanted to take over the chiseling and I let her do it. She did a great job. She got that cleared away pretty quickly while I was cleaning up the mess, getting everything prepped and staged and ready for the next step. So the kids cut this board to length. So we're gonna get a dry fit. As long as it fits like it should, it's gonna be snug, but as long as it fits, then we'll put some liquid nails down. Yeah, it looks like it'll work. Especially once you get past all that foam. Oh yeah. Yep, there you go, look at it. Using that old needle. Perfect. All right, so we know it's gonna fit. They ain't gotta work with it too hard right now, Lane. They know that's gonna fit in there and that's that seal cap we was talking about. Now one thing you could do if you wanted to, but we're not going to because this isn't gonna support any weight. It's literally gonna be a transition. Is you could fill in that concrete and put you some little bolts come through there, some thread, all thread through there, and then you could actually secure this to the concrete, but we're just gonna use liquid nails. So, Genesis is gonna learn. Hey G, you wanna tell them? What? That was pretty funny, wasn't it? No. So we were at the screw aisle, okay. and what were you looking for, G? Liquid screws. No, you were looking for liquid nails. <laughs> well, I thought it said screw. Okay. She learned today that liquid nails is an adhesive. But anyhow, we're gonna get that glued in, y'all. As usual, Genesis is supervising while Lane does the work. Okay. <laughs> He's getting that liquid nail put down for us. We'll get that glued in in a minute and move on to the uprights. Y'all, have you ever watched Water Boil? <laughs> That's what this felt like, sitting there watching a pot of water, waiting on it to boil. We were bottlenecked at this point, waiting on Lane, because once he got that glue in there, the liquid nails in there, we were able to put the cap in there and get our measurements for the uprights. But until he did, we were at a standstill. So these boards that we're putting up right now, they are literally there just to cap off the block walls. They're not gonna hold anything. They're not gonna support anything. They're really there just to dress things up and give us something to anchor the uprights to later on. Genesis grabbed the ladder so that we could go ahead and get those wires moved out of the way and not pinch them under or above, I should say, the LVO beams once we put those in. My son-in-law's an electrician. I'll have Matt over and we'll figure out what to do with this wire and this power source at some point. All right, y'all, so we uh, got to cut our LVL. I know we're going to get those put up. 
and this will not be on time lapse that way you guys can see us work through it <clears throat> we cut our uprights just slightly longer than they need to be so that we'll put upward pressure on the LVO also like I said every one of these boards is cut just slightly longer than it needs to be and that is by design because we want this to be a very tight fit Lane and Jess, let's go ahead and bring that LVL over here. We'll get it set on these uprights. G, what you waiting on, really? No, it's not heavy. Now this will go vertically, like this. Like this. And I did cut it to where it's just Again, everything is snug, snug, snug. Well, look for us. It's right there. Yep. Nah. We're going to take a little little blade width off of this one. I'm going to tear up that expensive LVL. There we go. Oh, what you got? that up right energy. Okay. There you go. These uprights, y'all, are intentionally just a little over a quarter of an inch too long. And that's so that when we drive this in and it presses that up, it's going to be very firmly against that old rafter that's supporting all the joists. Check that with the level before I nail it. If it's level, I'll pop a nail in it. More worried 
Alright, going this way, buddy. Place real quick. There we go. We're good. Yeah, check the other thing for me. You want to put a nail or a screw about every 10 inches, y'all? Y'all, we got one more LVL beam to go up. So when I went to the hardware store to get these LVL beams, they were trying to sell me just one. These are only an inch and three quarters thick. I understand that LVL holds a lot of weight, but knowing that this was the front face of the house, I was like, dude, I'm just gonna feel a whole lot better in my head, in my head and in my heart if I do this too. So we're going to sister two LVL beams together, which will give us a greater structural support and me a lot more peace of mind. for our second LVL beam once all of this is secure because as I said we put everything really snug so it's pressing everything really really tight out so that second one's probably going to be just a little bit maybe an eighth or a quarter inch longer than that first one was because we had that shoved in there jeeps I'm being later working on this Go get the screws, the three and a half inch screws, and find me an impact nerve. Okay? Thank you. Are they all at the property? No. Should be here. Should be here. So what Lane's doing is he's going back and he's nailing, or not nailing, but go ahead and finishing hammering those nails in. <coughs> Sorry that dust, y'all. But uh, that Craftsman nailer, it's also as far as it doesn't need gas. It's a battery nailer. It doesn't always drive the nails all of the way in. It's still faster than just hammering and nailing by yourself. All right. Ugh. Those gears are different. Different perspective, buddy. All right, Lane, let's get our measurement for the next beam. Just go up top there, brother. You good, bud? Yeah, just go to the outside. The outside's fine. Oh, okay. Are you good? Yep. All right. We're looking at 131 and a quarter. All righty. Get this next piece of LVL cut. Get that up. And then I'll show you the pocket we make to make sure that these beams don't kick out. Thanks, Jeeps. I'm amazing. Huh? I said, I'm amazing, I know. Well, if you're super duper amazing, you give me some water. This dust is itching my throat like crazy.
y'all, so if it's wrong, it's not my fault. I got faith in him, though, because he's taking Joe's shot class, I believe, so I think he knows what he's doing. There you go. That's right. I thought Jay, he's taught you how to build, too, not just mechanic boy. This is a well-rounded young man right here. Five and a half inches. I don't think I don't think you'll have enough to slide that in. Cut 75 and a half inches. Hold on, she'll get you right. Huh? If you need help. Yeah, I'll hold up some you get. Alright. I can hold it. Just in case. Now you got it. I care about my eyesight. That end down there was the 75 or the 75 and a half. Do you remember? Uh, no, no, no. All right, well, we'll do 75 and a half. And then if we need to take a half inch off, it'll be fine. But that'll give you enough for a little cheater board to get it up there. Damn, why are you falling? There we go. Perfect. 
Shave that board down a little bit. So the original board that they had up has either sagged a little bit over the years or it bowed, but it's got a little belly to it. And the belly <laughs> is impeding this rafter from going in. So we've got to get that trimmed up. We'll get that trimmed up and we'll be back with y'all in a minute. All right, guys, so we figured out the issue. Yes, this board has a little bit of bow to it. There's a little crack over there, but that's not the main issue. This old carriage bolt here that they had in it was impeding the rafter, so I'm gonna cut that out with the sawzall now. <laughs> So I can pull that out, guys. Get yeah, me a pry bar. This thing's stuck in there. <laughs> dust city, baby. Dust, dust city. Pull one out, brother. You've done your job for 60 some odd years or 70 years, but. Your job is now over, my friend. All right, back at it, y'all. We're going to try to get this other beam up now. Woohoo! It took a little bit of figuring out, but that's half the fun, right? I think we got it figured out now. We're just rocking along. I'm over here doing some uprights, and Lane is over here sistering these two LVO rafters together with a lot of screws. We want things to be nice and strong and secure so we never have to worry about this coming down on us. All right, y'all, so Lane has ran about how many screws into those? Ooh, I don't know, several. Several. <laughs> He's done it on both sides, y'all, as he saw in the time last, but I want to show you something. So what I was talking about as far as making a pocket so that this beam doesn't come out. Get this ladder out of the way here. All right. So on this side, I've anchored that there. It can't come this way. This will all get enclosed and encased. That'll be hidden, obviously, but we know that the beam cannot go that way now because there's an anchor. This side, an anchor. So the beam is sandwiched. It can't come down. It can't go side to side. I'll take you guys over here show you what it looks like without that board on there so we've got the beam resting on a two by six and a two by four both beams fit on there fine all the way down this is about to get its cap on it and then this beam will be sandwiched in a pocket all right y'all that's it not worried about that damage to the drop ceiling it's got to get replaced once wifey gets home and 
lets me know what she wants me to replace it with. But the beam is in place. So stay tuned on the next episode of This Old House when we make it look pretty. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you learned something. If you got any tips or tricks, as always, you can share them with we us. We really do like to learn, so if there's a better way to do things, share it with us. We don't mind at all. We don't take offense to it. But I got a lot of cleanup to do. Genesis and Lane left. They're going to fill the screams for a date. I appreciate their help. I appreciate Dylan's help yesterday. And now it's time for me to get this all cleaned up and ready for the next phase.